Hey, what is going on guys? Today, welcome back to NASCAR week, ladies and gentlemen, and today I am going to be sharing with you a set of mods that is going to get you as close as possible to turning a Seto Corsa into an oval sim. In this mod, we are going to have all of the tracks, the car download link, the different physics and different AI things that you should be running to make it more pack-like. We are going to have it all here for you today. And also, the final part of NASCAR week and kind of putting the cherry on top of this massive, massive big mod pack for the NASCAR Cup Series is my official because i am making a fair amount of these liveries in conjunction with a few other people that i will talk about in that video uh our goal is to make a full 40 car field for this right now i can say that we are on 18 and i plan to release version 1 with 20 uh but enough about that let's get right into turning aceto corsa into the best oval sim that it can be so down below is the probably the biggest part of this big mod pack is the car the rss hyperion 2020 this is a basically replica of the 2020 ford mustang this is well, not shocking, because it's from Race Sim Studio, a fantastic mod. It drives about as realistically as I could imagine. I think it's very comparable to the iRacing offerings. And this car, man, it is just simply beautiful, especially when you throw a good-looking skin on it. But what is a NASCAR car without some ovals? So, in the description below... We have a hand curated pack of all of the ovals that I can currently find right now and more will be updated in the pack soon, that's a guarantee. Uh, in the description below, in the Google Drive link, this is the vast majority of the big tracks in the NASCAR Cup Series. Daytona, Darlington, Dover, Homestead. Indianapolis, Kansas, Las Vegas, Kentucky, Phoenix, New Hampshire, Pocono, Talladega, the list goes on. Now, there is one track, though, that I cannot include in this for free, and that is why you see a separate download link to it. That is the VRC South Star Motor Speedway, a.k.a. Texas Motor Speedway. I cannot include this for free, obviously, because this is payware. Uh, so you're gonna have to go purchase that if you would like Texas Motor Speed, which by the way, it is a fantastic mod. Obviously, one of, if not the most highly detailed one, because it's payware and it is VRC. But regardless, I obviously cannot include it in here for free. Now, there's a click disclaimer I have to put on that a lot of these tracks do range in quality. I know the Michigan one is very weak, like it looks pretty shitty. But I thought I would include it in here anyway because the track surface itself and the track itself isn't horrible. It's just the track side details that are a little meh. But then on the other hand, you have places like Kentucky and Kansas where the track is just beautiful, frankly. If you ask me, it looks like something you would have to pay for. Same with, you know, like Dover and Darlington and all that. But I'm not going to go in depth on every single one. It's in the mod pack in the description below. Now you are going to notice when you put it in here, this is something that I did for personal preference. Uh, I put them under their own flag, or under their own country that's just called ovals. Because to me, minus a few ones that are going to go in your USA folder, uh, four to be exact, because they have road courses or rovals. Uh, and I thought I wouldn't split those ones up. Uh, they are all in an ovals category because I think it just looks cleaner. I don't like my USA folder being chock full of just ovals just mixed in together with all of the circuits I have. So to me, I think this looks a lot cleaner, but if you take a lot of pride in your country's area and the amount, uh, basically all you have to do 
turn the .json file, open it in File Explorer, and go to UI. Click on the .json file, change its extension to .txt, uh, and then when it says country in there, just change it back to USA in all caps. So next up is the things in um, Content Manager. So what you're going to want to do is opponent strength, you're going to, especially on some tracks where the AI is better than others, you're going to want it to have it basically on the max. Uh, if you're doing like a long race, like you're trying to recreate like the Daytona 500 or something, the Daytona track in here does have very good AI. But uh, yeah, just experiment with whatever track you're trying to do with different AI. Uh, again, I mean, everyone knows the where you should have the AI, where some of them are faster than you, you're faster than others. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, you're gonna have to play around with that, but for most tracks, I would say running it near around 100% is probably gonna be what you're gonna wanna do. Opponent aggression, there are some tracks where, you know, especially super speedways, you need it on 100%, or else whenever they're in the draft, they're gonna let off, and they won't go for overtakes. So, opponent aggression for that mitigates that a little bit. I know there's still a little bit of lifting, lifting off when they're getting close, but again, y y the best NASCAR racing you're ever going to get is with people. That's been basically true of any NASCAR game. Now, next, you're going to want to turn the slipstream effect up. So, uh, in Content Manager, when you're on the single page, you know, like the default page, click on the three little dots next to the tire blankets and you're gonna see slipstream effect. And basically, you're just gonna wanna put it up to two for super speedways I've found is pretty good, and then maybe three for shorter tracks. Now, what the point of this is, I know it does make it a little less realistic, but for simple quality of racing, uh, this is gonna keep the AI in a much more condensed pack because if you leave it on one X, basically, especially on super speedways, it's just gonna be single file, half a second between every car eventually so this is going to keep a nice tight as can be pack obviously the as said of course the ai don't really pack race very well uh but you can still get some two and three wide moments on talladega and stuff like that so it's pretty good but you're gonna want to turn the slipstream effect up just so the pack stays a little closer together because obviously again ai aren't that intelligent uh, and besides that, that's really all you need once you have the Hyperion, all of the NASCAR ovals, and you have fiddled with a few of the settings, you should be ready to go. Now, the final part of this big week and my big mod set for Assetto Corsa is the big NASCAR Cub Series 2020-2021 mod pack. Ladies and gents, that will be coming out in two days' time as I am recording this, a.k.a. the 20th of Saturday. And that day as well is the day I will be live-streaming my first league race in ACSO. So make sure you tune in for that as well to see how I do on my first outing at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. But besides that, that is all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned for the mod pack. It's going to be very big with exclusive liveries that uh, no one else has made that are uniquely mine and, yeah, of official cars, of course. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.